Hello foodies, welcome to Foodland. I am here with stuffed brinjal, a famous Maharashtrian recipe and very flavorful, interesting recipe. There, there is a nutty flavor, then um, there is some tangy flavor and of course with the jaggery and couple more ingredients, it's going to be a very special dish. Let's see the recipe. Alright, so let's see how to give this eggplant a, a cut. So I'm gonna remove the stem here and keep some of that. Now I have two parts. Turn it over, flip it to this side and then cut it from the other side. So basically it's like a plus sign. So you have this opening right here and this opening right here. So I'll show you one more time. Cut the stem. One cut just like this. Turn it over and cut it from the other side. So keep some gap so that it won't totally uh, get into two pieces or four pieces rather. So cut here and cut here okay so put it in the bowl of water so that it won't turn black and let's get our stuffing ready okay so let's see what are the ingredients we need for a stuffed eggplant curry recipe so we have let's start with oil we need oil uh, two tablespoons this is soaked tamarind one thinly chopped onion one cup of fresh grated coconut these are seven to eight eggplants i've showed you earlier how to cut the eggplants in dry spices we need three tablespoons of uh, roasted peanut powder Two tablespoons of red chili powder, one fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder, two tablespoons of goda masala, one tablespoon of salt, and about one to two tablespoons of jaggery. Uh, goda masala in this recipe is a must, uh, and you will find um, goda masala in any Indian store. So simply uh, mix all these ingredients together so we are making we're in the plate I'm just gonna mix some onion and uh, oil and tamarind paste and fresh coconut into this dish and give that a good mix so the, we are making our stuffing ready right now we're gonna stuff this inside the brinjal or eggplant you can also add a coriander here just give that a good mix tamarind and jaggery will give us beautiful taste let me show you how to fill the stuffing so open it add about one tablespoon on one side press it gently open the other part stuff some there the flavor of this stuffing when the subs is cooking will be marvelous okay so my eggplant stuffed eggplant is ready let me get one more and show you On this side and some more here just like so this is a very famous Maharashtrian delicacy let's add I've added three tablespoons of oil some mustard seeds 
if you do not have it's okay you can skip it let it splatter and some, some onion Once onion is translucent, add eggplants. And if you have any more stuffing left, then you can quickly grind it in the mixer and uh, add it in the curry. I do not have any mixture left, but uh, I'm just going to add some water. For the masala and the eggplant to cook, we are just simply going to cook it for about 7 to 8 minutes on a medium low flame and keep it covered. 10 minutes are done. Let's see how well it is cooked. I see. They changed the color but doesn't mean that they cooked and uh, slowly you will see the stuffing might come out but that's okay that will be our gravy I'm gonna flip the side of the brinjo just to let it cook for the other side Okay, so another seven minutes are done. Let's see. I'm sure it is cooked now. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, flavorful stuffed brinjal, stuffed eggplant recipe. If you do not have tamarind, you can definitely uh, substitute with uh, tomato as well as some lemon juice. So basically, you've got a good mix and my Stuffed brinjal, stuffed eggplant is ready. Gonna put it in a serving plate. At this point, you can garnish it with some beautiful coriander. Look at this beautiful green color. Time to dish it out. Just get entire brinjal wow this curry or sabzi is good with roti or you can also have it with rice beautiful flavorful stuffed brinjal recipe and here you go this is my beautiful flavorful stuffed brinjal our stuffed eggplant completely ready and uh, i'm going to enjoy this with roti and uh, some salad on the side so i hope you like this recipe very interesting recipe and very very flavorful recipe do try it at home and uh, if you like this recipe as usual please like support and comment in the description box and of course do not forget to subscribe if you have subscribed already, then um, thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.